Hello everybody, I'm Dave, welcome back to Sailing Madness. Now in this episode I've got something a little bit different for you here today uh, because this is particularly for you if you are just starting out on your sailing journey and if you are looking to crew on other people's boats. Uh, because of my profile on YouTube I get asked an awful lot from people who I don't know if they could come sailing with me. Now I politely turn them down because nine times out of ten those individuals don't have any sailing experience whatsoever. Now for me as a skipper it's bad enough taking friends and family with no sailing experience out on the boat so let alone taking a complete stranger with no experience that would just it, it's just a disaster waiting to happen so I just don't do it. So what I thought I'd do is in this episode I would show you how you could become a good crew member. What is a crew member? What do they do? And what makes a good crew member? Now if you watch the video that I'm about to show you, it's Robin and I leaving Tobermory. It's a couple of months ago, we filmed it in August 2024. Now Robin and I work really well together. When I'm bringing the boat out of a marina, he's getting the lines in, he's getting the fenders in, and he's doing all those tidy up jobs that you need to do when you leave the dock. So what I thought I'd do is I'll show you exactly what Robin does so that if you are thinking about becoming a crew member on someone else's boat, take a leaf out of Robin's book and see exactly what he does. Also note in the footage that there's very little communication between him and I. He knows exactly what he needs to do. I know he's going to get on and do it, so I don't need to bark orders at him. This is the standard I think you should be looking to achieve if you are looking at starting your sailing career. This is the gold standard. This is what you need to achieve if you want to be a good crew member. I hope you find it useful. Right, so before we get into this, let me just start by saying that at the time that this footage was recorded, neither of us had any idea that this episode was going to be about crewing. It wasn't until I was back at home and editing this 360 footage that I came up with the idea of producing an episode on this subject. OK, so here we go then, just reversing off of the slip at Tobermory. As you can see, it's a lovely sunny morning and Robin's first job is to make sure that despite a little bit of prop walk, when I was going astern, I didn't hit the side of that lovely boat on our port side. That boat next to us is a southerly, it's a very beamy boat, so there was not a lot of room on either side. But between Robin and the skipper, they made sure that uh, none of the boats hit each other, and once I was clear of the stern, I was able to uh, turn the boat and reverse her out of the marina. And of course, while I'm doing that, Robin's first job is to start bringing the fenders and the lines in. The first fender he's chosen to bring back is the nice big ball fender that was on the bow. This is going to go on the push pit rail at the back here on the port side. Bit difficult to get it there because of the Starlink aerial and because of the Bimini cover. But as you can see, he's doing a great job tying that fender onto the back of the boat. It's coming forward now. Where's he going to go? He's going to go to the mast. He's just released the in-mast furling mechanism so we can get the sail out later. That's good initiative. And he's at the bow and he's taking one of the dock lines off now, just undoing it from the fair lead and the cleat. And once he's done that, he's just going to quickly coil it up in his hand and he's going to bring it to the back of the boat. He'll come back to this line later on, but for now it's important to get the lines in the cockpit because if you leave them on the boat, if you leave them on deck, they could come off the side of the boat, go into the water and wrap themselves around the prop and that would be a disaster. Right, next fender's coming back. And this time he's just stopping just to close the gate so that no one falls in. That's all nice and secure. And then that fender is going to go on the push bit rails on the starboard side. It's important to note here that whilst Robin is tying that fender on, he's getting it nice and high, as high as possible. You want them really high at this point because you're not going to be using them for the rest of the day. And it's important to get them high because when the boat is sailing and is leaning, you don't want the fenders dragging in the water. Another fender coming off now. And again, this is going to go nice and high on the push bit rails at the back. It's important to know how to tie a clove hitch. Lots of important knots in sailing, but when you're starting out as a new crew member, clove hitch is the first knot you need to learn. You need to learn how to tie it because you're going to be tying that knot an awful lot. Bolands and other important knots can wait. Clove hitch has to be the single most important knot that you need to learn how to tie in the early days of your crewing career. Right, Robin's come forward. He's Attention now to the spring line. This was holding us onto the dock earlier on. Don't need it now. And again, that's just going in the cockpit. He'll sort that out in a little while as he continues with a fender, a midships fender there. So that's going to be coming off and going back to the boat, just like all the others, tying on with that clove hitch. Remember, 
important you need to know how to tie a clove hitch and as you can see whilst he's doing that looks like I'm playing around with the autopilot so I'm doing my job notice how there's very little communication between the two of us Robin is just cracking on doing what he's doing bit of initiative there he's just tucked in the spray hood don't want that flapping around when they uh, get out and the wind picks up so he's just tucked that in under the metal work one last fender now on the starboard side and back it goes and there I am still playing with the autopilot if you look at the wind generator the top of the screen no wind that's not turning not sure we're going to be doing much sailing in a little while but we'll see right Robin's back to the bow he's just checked the starboard side he's come down the port side last fender there so that's going to be coming in and he'll be tying that underneath the Starlink antenna again probably the most awkward place to tie a fender on the boat Right, that's all the fenders done. So now Robin is making his way into the cockpit where he's going to turn his attention to coiling the lines. Now, there's various ways of coiling these lines and your skipper will tell you how he or she would like them done. As you can see, Robin is uh, doing a great job there, coiling the lines up. He's going to do each line at a time and then when they're all done, they're going to be put in the cockpit logger because we don't need them for the rest of the day. This line here was the stern line. That's still wrapped around the cleat and through the fair lead, so he's just undoing that now. There it is, freed it off. Notice the tail end was already inside the cockpit, so there's no chance of that falling off the boat and getting wrapped around the prop. So he's just coiling that up. And there you go. This line that Robin's got now is just a bungee cord. We just tie it around the binnacle. It just stops the table clattering and banging when the boat's sailing. One more line to do, but he's just noticed that the port side of the spray hood was loose, so he's just tucked that in under the metalwork. And here he is, paying attention to the last line, coiling that up in a nice, tidy fashion, knotting it round the top, putting a couple of loops in, and then that line with all the others can go in the cockpit locker because we're not going to need them now for the rest of the day. And notice. Throughout the whole of this video, there's been absolutely no orders or instructions from me. Robin's just got on and done what is needed to be done without anything from me. I've just been sat there concentrating on getting the boat off the dock and out of the marina and past all the moored boats. So now Robin's job isn't quite over, again he's using his initiative here because what he's doing is he's getting all the lines ready to bring the sails out. This is the outhaul line he's tying around the winch and uh, in a couple of moments now he's going to go over to the other side of the boat and just sort and make sure that the main sheet's ready just to get all the lines ready for when we head into the wind and we bring the main sail out. And that, in my opinion, is exactly what you should be doing as a good crew member when leaving the dock. Robin was efficient, safe, and he worked under his own initiative. And that's what you need to do when you get given an opportunity to go sailing. Because if you don't, I can pretty much guarantee you won't get invited back for a second time. Now, there is so much more to crewing than what you've seen here, so maybe we'll come back to this subject again in the future. But for now, I hope you found this bonus video useful. Next time, we will be back to our regular videos of our sailing around the beautiful west coast of Scotland. And that just about does it for Dave and Robin for today. Thanks for sticking with us until the end. Remember, if you've enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. And if you've not done so already, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, put them in the box below. We really do enjoy reading all your feedback to our videos. The more likes, subscriptions and comments this episode receives, the more likely YouTube is to recommend us to people who may not have found us yet. So you can really help the channel grow by hitting the thumb, subscription and comment buttons. Finally, if you'd like to support us financially, why not become a patron? For a small monthly fee of just £6 a month, you can support the making of future Future videos. We're not asking you to fund our lifestyle, unlike some sailing channels. We're just asking for a contribution towards the cost of producing these videos. All patrons get early ad-free access to all episodes, exclusive behind-the-scenes video content, and membership to a private WhatsApp group where you can keep in contact with us. To find out more about becoming a patron, please click the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.